The last time I flew this Auto G was a few years ago, actually four years ago, for a product review. You can see the link in the video notes. I always liked this machine and almost bought a real one. In my original video I found that the controls were actually backwards and that's how come it got crashed. But I got that worked out. The Durafly Auto G from Hobby King has a pre-spin up motor to get the main rotor turning. So as soon as I'm airborne I shut that off and I have a real true auto gyro that flies really nice. Albeit it was kind of hard to see in the dark tonight with no lights. I strengthened the blades by reinforcing them with duct tape along the entire blade and ready to go. It's a really fun machine and I hope you enjoy the flight. Just have to remember with auto gyros not to punch it because the torque can cause it to turn to the left on takeoff. Well, I haven't flown this auto gyro in a long time. Let's see what it does. To spin it up first, and then we start rolling. Cut off the motor. That's sweet. Oh, it's so smooth tonight. Oh, hard to see. I can hardly see it. Yeah, this is probably not a good idea. It's too dark. No lights on this baby. Maybe I better slow down and get closer here. I can't see it. 